Now, I've been using Lightroom for years now, but recently, like for about a year, I've stopped. This video explains why I've broken up with Lightroom and why I'm trying out Luminar 4 instead. Let's go. I got really quick at Lightroom, like super quick. I could be done with a first pass of a photo and be 80% happy with it in less than a minute. I love this about Lightroom and it's probably the thing I miss most about it. I had a process and I knew what to do in my first pass, my second pass, and then just finishing it off just in those 60 seconds. And even better than that was how good the export function was, especially if you were exporting a whole bunch of images all at the same time. I got really good at that. Boy, it makes me miss that feature now just talking about it, but not enough to start using it again. Because the number one barrier for me using Lightroom, despite how much I love using it, is that it's a subscription model. Monthly fees, like I hate monthly fees. Any Adobe products are available only with the Creative Cloud membership. Evil, including Lightroom. Each user can choose their own personal subscription, which will consist of Lightroom or several other apps, blah, 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 blah. Yes, you can tailor your subscription with various different apps and just the ones you need, but often there's stuff that you don't need and I can no longer justify it. I did think for a while that maybe, just maybe, I'd be able to make a living out of photography, stock photography, travel photography, art photography. I use Lightroom. I got pretty good, made the finals in some competitions and even won an award and put on an exhibition. But it became pretty clear that I didn't have the track record or professional chops to make it as a business. And that's the critical thing. Sometimes I still dream of glory, Dick. As a business, I pay happily for subscriptions for some stuff like Canva or Morning Fame. Not much, but for some stuff because it delivers value and because the best option changes so much, it's good my service providers are constantly developing the product to keep up to date with the latest trends or helping me to be a better creator. Now, yeah, Adobe does that, but for Lightroom and the Creative Cloud membership, this was always just gonna be a hobby, especially when I made the jump over to editing my videos with a fully mobile solution. LumaFusion, a standalone excellent product that is actually a heap of fun to use. Maybe I should make a video about that soon too. So bye bye Lightroom. I loved you and I wish you loved me back, but you kept charging me fees and offering me stuff I just didn't need. And you locked your photos in my catalog heart and you became bloated and slow to load. And yes, I loved taking you in my pocket in Lightroom Mobile and how you synced and just knew how my photos were meant to look. But Business is business. I don't use Premiere Pro. So Lightroom, you had to go to. So what now? Well, for a while in the last year, I've been going back to Apple Photos, which has actually improved out of all recognition. Apple Photos offers that simple streamlined way to organize. Organize. Let's organize. Don't talk nonsense. And edit your photos all from one application and it supports raw files and offers a handful of tools for simple editing such as levels, curves and selective color. And you can always order photo books and I've never done that kind of stuff. But where it falls short of Lightroom is its lack of ability to edit certain parts of an image. Whoops, edit, undo. If you want to make the sky brighter, for example, you'll have to make the entire image brighter, which is not ideal. But while you can adjust highlights and shadows separately, Apple Photos is probably best for people who don't need to do heavy professional editing, which is probably me. But then I think I probably need a bit more than that too. Call me a semi-pro, because believe it or not, my photos do sell, just not enough. Money, more problems, that's what I always say. So, enter Luminar 4. I did consider Capture One, but I had heard good things about Luminar 4, so what is it? Just like Lightroom, Luminar is a non-destructive image editing and photo management software for Mac and PC. And it's designed to deliver professional results in less time than anything else currently available. How does it do that? Well, Luminar uses artificial intelligence powered tools to make complex editing simpler. Theoretically, you can let the software do all the work for you or take full control of each edit yourself. And as you know, what my channel is about, what I'm all about is great results that take less time. Now, one fantastic feature that I really like is that it can be used as a standalone image editing application or as a plugin for Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, Elements, Apple Photos, 
And it's that editing ability from Apple Photos that really works for me. I don't have to create another catalog. I can just have all my photos in Apple Photos syncing to all the devices I want it to. And I can use my Luminar on my desktop and MacBook to edit from within Apple Photos. And then the photo is saved as a file right back in Apple Photos. Simple, efficient, powerful, just how I like it. And the best thing, no subscription model. It's a one-off purchase and there's an ongoing feature and performance updates and support too. So I tried it and it was good. Here's some before and after examples right here with some of my own photos. And this is just the simple, really quick stuff and just a part of the simple, really quick stuff too. And before I show you the amazing AI powered sky replacement tool, you can get a discount off Luminar 4 using my affiliate code, especially for my audience. You can find it in the video description or the pinned comment below. So yes, Luminar 4 also has a mind blowing AI sky replacement tool. And truth be told, I secretly wanted the AI sky replacement tool to be a gimmick. Learning how to replace a sky believably in Photoshop takes a lot of skill and and patience. With Luminar 4, I'm not kidding, one click changes the sky in your photo. And when I say one click, I mean, you just select one of the bundled skies and that's it. It's actually astounding. Sometimes it gets a little bit messed up, but 90% of the time, the results are fantastic in one click. Check it out. You know, if you're torn, you could continue to use Lightroom to house your library and keep everything organized while using Luminar as a plugin for when you want to do more creative edits or simply want to have fun playing around with different ideas. And then you can use Photoshop for more involved work. That's one workflow that could work if you have a lot of stuff that you need to do. For me though, Luminar often saves time in edits simply because it combines two or three adjustments into one slider. But it also has levels of controls within some of those sliders too if you need it. And it comes up with great results in a matter of seconds. You know, it's probably more for the creative photography end of the scale, but you can easily just use this to brighten up or touch up your shots. That preserves the character of your original image, like in this photo here. Check out my process for taking photos here. I've got some great tips for your photography. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss me showing you how to edit really quickly using the built-in AI of Luminar 4 as I edit a photo taken with my Insta360 ONE R. That'll be coming up soon right here. All right, ladies, all go well. I need a coffee now. <laughs>